<laughs> next one, next. Uh, be some small helixes in a similar fashion. So now I would go around the uh, red one, except that doesn't fit. Uh, do the same thing like this. I could uh, remove one layer of uh, helixes from these if they're uh, too slow. Do the uh, small helixes downwards. Although now this uh, last block section here is really short, but I think I can compensate with the uh, minimum waiting time. Oh yeah, and that reminds me of another random fix that I forgot. Uh, someone suggested suggested that I uh, calculate these minimum and maximum waiting times by uh, dividing the total ride time with the number of trains. So I got uh, 45 seconds for that, so let's put that on the maximum. And then the minimum should be a bit lower than that. Maybe that'll help them uh, be spaced out properly. Oh, there's a lot of guests on that train. Anyway, back to construction. good but these guys are not red one is good and then we only have the white guy Go, that fits. All right, the trick is complete. Hopefully, <laughs> timing might not be right. So let's go and save just in case. Uh, March year sixteen. I have the synchronization on, yes. Uh, let's, uh, how many trains? Uh, I think, yeah, we can fit three, so let's choose that. And go. And go. And go.
Yeah, these are long enough. I wanted to check that. And let's see that they uh, make their way through these tunnels. Should be no problem. Yep. Now hopefully these three will leave at the same time. Although I think this uh, minimum waiting doesn't... Oh wait, why is that 10 seconds? What the hell? I thought I set it to uh, 35. Or 30, I guess. So yeah, I was about to say that the minimum waiting time doesn't seem to affect them when they're uh, doing a test run, so... Uh -huh. Oh wait, these guys might have left at the same time. Should have looked at them. That one's behind, but they probably didn't leave at the same time. Now, how am I gonna get them to leave? God damn it. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, there goes the blue one. Damn it. And the bad thing about this cable lift hill is that there's a lock section or break at the top, like they'd stop there. It's the same thing with normal lift hills, but with those you can uh, remove the topmost piece to eliminate that uh, block break. So that they never stop here at the top. But these guys do always stop. If the section isn't clear, of course. Uh -huh. Let's try closing them. And then I'll go and pause the game. Start only two of them. And then... Oh wait, not open. And then unpause and start the third one. Hopefully it won't crash now. <laughs> please don't crash, please, 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 please. Let's check these guys out. Ah, oh, they didn't leave at the same time, damn it. Oh, almost, they were pretty close. Yeah, those two at the left at the same time, but not the white guy. Ah, yeah, that's because he has a longer... ...longer time there. Well, at least we can see how these sync up. It's pretty good so far. How about here? The white one has caught up. Well, those two, uh, the blue and the red one, are good, but I'm not sure about the white one because it didn't leave at the same time over here. Uh, let's see, how about if I add something here, like a lift piece or something? Or I could just place the uh, block break closer. Let's try that. Okay, don't crash, don't crash. Uh, the blue one jumped again, what the... Uh, I guess they're close enough. How about these? Nope. The white one still... <laughs> takes too long to get past that. Uh, oh yeah, because now it's closer actually. Uh, hmm. Guess I'll have to make some modifications. 
There we go. Could try adding a drop here. Let's try and put the block break there and then a small drop. Synchronize guys. Oh, the blue one's a bit behind. How about over here? Let's see. Uh. Hmm, okay, now they left pretty much at the same time. That's good, that's good. Uh, we. Oh, the white one's a bit ahead. Not much. Looking pretty good. Although he finishes this part early. So maybe I should remove that uh, one layer of helixes there. Um, this section is pretty fast. So it might cause a lot of uh, g-forces and the white one's a bit uh, behind there. Oh wait. Uh, the uh, brakes seem to be slowing it down, so I gotta remove some of those. Uh, oh yeah, that was uh, 14 kilometers when these guys are 20, that's why. Well, let's just leave it uh, blank, I mean. Uh, there we go. And uh, remove one. Helix layer here, I guess. Hopefully that'll help them just sink. missing number one once again here we go do me proud guys mm, not very synchronized damn it pretty good looking quite good uh, the white one's a bit ahead but not too much Yeah, now he's the last one though, <laughs> not my much, so maybe I'll let that slide. Uh, these guys doing pretty good, pretty good. Mm. Could adjust these brakes a bit to allow the white one to catch up. Although, let's take a look at how he does here. I don't think he needs any catching up. He will be too much ahead otherwise. 
Although at this uh, very last helix he falls behind. Because these guys have a small one. Let's get a big one. But I think that's pretty good for th timing. So. Uh, I don't think I'll do any more modifications. Hopefully. Oh wow, the lateral cheese are red. Oh shit. That might, might be bad. Please don't go over 10. Is it this uh, curve here? I wonder. Oh, damn it. That's extreme. <laughs> no. No, and this one's very high, 10.10. Probably a combination of this turn and uh, these fast parts here, maybe. Uh, oh, this one's good. And <laughs> 9.98. 11.10 on the excitement, nice. But these guys need fixing, damn it. I need to figure out where the uh, big lateral G is. So it was 2.92 It's right here probably Yeah Damn it, damn it, damn it That came back to haunt me Bite me in the ass Different solution for this part. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll uh, do some off camera pondering on how to solve this. So I don't bore you guys with that too much. So now I'm going to pause this recording and see you guys in the next session. Bye!